Hello and welcome to our 80s life. We're all about the 80s. In 1982, there was a movie called The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. It starred Burt Reynolds and Dolly Parton, and it was based on a true story of a brothel in LaGrange, Texas. And that place, known as the Chicken Ranch, was actually right behind us. Today, we're going to take you to the filming locations of The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. So the names and the places in the movie were changed to protect the innocent and probably not so innocent. <laughs> and there was a lot of creative license with the storyline of this movie, but it was based on a real story. The Chicken Ranch in LaGrange was closed in 1973. Part of the original building was actually moved to Dallas down on Lower Greenville and they opened a restaurant called the Chicken Ranch that only existed or lasted for a couple months. <laughs> The rest is, has been left here and unfortunately it's just ruins. But let's fly the drone over and we can see it from the air and see what's left of the chicken ranch. Can you guys see that house right there? That is the historic Kumpel House here in Pflugerville, Texas. The Kumpel House was built in 1904 by German craftsman George Kumpel. The house and surrounding 100 acre estate was used for filming the exterior of the chicken ranch. of the house was constructed on Soundstage 12 at Universal Studios in California. It's a practical set, meaning the interiors were decorated and used for filming the inside of the house. After filming, the house was relocated to Colonial Street, where now it's part of Universal's Backlot Tour. Now we're at the Texas Governor's Mansion. All right, there's a little bit of movie magic here. So when the governor gets in the car, he gets on and he steps here and he heads down the street. Right here. And the capital is just right over there. Mm -hmm. But if you notice, this mansion does not look like the one in the movie. It's because they used a different one. And we're going to take you there now. <laughs> About a half a mile from the actual Governor's Mansion is the Governor's Mansion from the movie. Yeah, this is a historic home. It's very beautiful, um, but currently it's used for office space. So there's space for lease if anybody wants to get an office here. Uh, the Governor was played by Charles Durning and he was a wonderful actor. He actually earned a Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor in this role. He should have won. Yeah, I agree. He's wrong. Now we're at the Texas State Capitol. This movie was the first ever to be filmed inside the Texas State Capitol, so let's go in and take a look. statues behind us before he walks into the main rotunda area. In case you're wondering, this is Sam Houston 
and Stephen F. Austin. Stephen F. Austin is extra special to Keith and me because we went to Stephen F. Austin University. did the amazing job where he danced the little sidestep. Hey Keith, you want to show us how he did that? actually an elevator. Movie magic. <laughs> Not the governor's office. Not the governor's office. Okay, Ed Earl just found out that the governor's going to shut down the chicken ranch and he walks down these stairs here from the second floor of the Capitol building down to the first floor and then he runs into Melvin P. Thorpe. But in the movie, this was the town of Gilbert. Gilbert, the little town with the big shame. It's about 30 minutes from LaGrange, and behind us is the beautiful, historic Lavaca County Courthouse. This was the iconic scene where Melvin P. Thorpe was out there holding a little rally to <laughs> shut down the chicken ranch, and Ed Earl comes up says some words. <laughs> I'm gonna give you 30 seconds, you fancified fart. Shoots his gun a few times in the air. <laughs> and then Melvin P. Thorpe falls into a fountain, which unfortunately is no longer um, in front of the building where it used to be. Now it's where there. the van is parked. That's where, that's where our van is parked. Um, but you see the gazebo? We're gonna go over there and do a, a reenactment. Texas has a, has a horror, horror house in it. Lord have mercy on our souls. Hi. Where are you from? All right, so we got the inside scoop. We talked to a local, and he told us that the fountain was actually just put in for the movie, and it was not permanent. So they did a really good job because it looked like it belonged there if you, uh, if you look at the pictures. Right across the street from the courthouse, you might recognize this building because this one was Dulce Mae's Cafe, but now it's hair on the square. Right over here is where Ed Earl talks to the horse that is actually sitting on a pinto. It's pretty funny. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. And if you guys enjoy this video, you might also like our filming locations playlist, which we will link for you up in the iCard and also below. Bye guys.